only on to a longtime customer of a Woodland Hills hair salon says her last visit gave her a high in the worst possible way, and now she's suing. CPS 2's Lori Paris tells us the woman claims she was served a pot-laced cookie. Never. I do not smoke, never have smoked, drank, or taken drugs. In 72 years, Joanne Nickerson says she's never rolled a joint, never inhaled, never experimented with pot, never tried marijuana, period. Until last October, and not, she says, by choice. That's when she says she grabbed a baked treat off a tray at Blush Salon in Woodland Hills, as she had done many times before. Only this time, about an hour after her manicure, she says she got seriously ill. She couldn't speak, was disoriented, lightheaded, had blurred vision, a headache, and hallucinations. I, I saw gingerbread men. I think the most frightening part about it was that I had no idea where it came from. But she was about to find out. Thinking she was having a stroke, she rushed to the West Hills ER, where, according to her lawsuit against Blush Salon, $46,000 in care, an overnight stay, and multiple lab tests showed THC in her blood. They determined that the only thing she ate that day was a home-baked cookie from her beauty salon. THC is pot's potent chemical that causes the high users usually want. But when Nickerson took the cookie, she was looking for, at best, a sugar rush. I like sweets, but I do not like drugs. I've never, never in my life. Nickerson and her attorney, Barry Goldberg, say blush management has denied providing the pot-laced cookie. A woman who answered the phone there today said they've entered litigation and have no comment on the matter. Nickerson is seeking unspecified damages and... My only desire is for this never to happen to someone else. It could have happened to a child. Lori Perez, CBS2 News.